like our videos, go ahead and uh, uh, subscribe and share them and hit that like button for me. Hey everybody, it's Matt with Everwood Auto Repair. Today, we're out here with a Nissan Sentra, 2015 I believe. So what's going on with this is that it's got a catalyst, uh, an inefficient catalyst code, a P0420, which indicates that the catalytic converter is not working right. So the first thing I did was plug my scan tool in and just get all the codes. Uh, sure enough, bad cat code comes up. So I jacked the car up and I go down there with the mallet and I just tap it. And it sounds like a, a maraca, like a little rattle. There's sand inside of there. That's what it sounds like. So, so that's a pretty good indicator right there. Yeah, catalytic converter's bad. But that's not the end of the story, okay? Because we have to figure out why the cat went bad. The reason a catalytic converter is gonna go bad is because of unburnt fuel getting into the system. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is, the first thing that I did was take a spark plug out. So I'll, I'll insert a picture of a spark plug right here. So the original call was, hey, can you fix my catalytic converter? Oh, this is how it went. It went, it went really, really great. The guy calls me, says, hey, I went to AutoZone and I got a diagnostic. First, first thing, that's wrong. Got a diagnostic for the P0420. Can you replace the catalytic converter? I said, yes, absolutely, we can replace the cat. So we schedule something for me to replace the cat, give the guy a quote and all that. The guy calls me back a couple minutes later and says, hey, you know, I just found out that it might not be the catalytic converter, that it could be other stuff. How much do you charge to, to figure it out? I said, that's the right question. How much does it do I charge to diagnose is the right question, not can I change your catalytic converter? So that's how I came to the, uh, so I jacked it up. I can hear the, the, you know, whatever that stuff is inside of the cat. So a cat's bad, but the guy wants to pass emissions. He doesn't care about the catalytic converter actually working or not. Uh, so I told him, Hey, you know, let's just change the spark plugs because we know that you need spark plugs. You know, we, we can just look at them and see that they're messed up. The code comes and goes anyways. So let's just hold off on replacing the cat and let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can just get this thing to, to run, get the car to run a little bit better, you know, burn fuel a little bit more efficiently with some new spark plugs and we'll see what happens. So today I'm gonna show you how to replace the spark plugs. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is get this cover off. Let me zoom you out a little bit so you can see things better. So just yank up on it, okay? Yanked up on that side, yank up on that side. And you see there's these things right here. You plug these things on the cover into them. So you just pull them out. Now the next thing we're gonna do is to get this first spark plug out, we've got uh, we've got this little hose in the way. So I take my needle nose, get this little clamp, and then just back it off. And then I'll twist this guy a little bit, and then it comes right off. Now I'm gonna Take a little screwdriver, or in this case, I'll take my little Nina nose, and I'm gonna I'm gonna push on this, and I'll hear the plastic click a little bit. Maybe we can hear it on the camera. You hear that? So I can't do this while I hold the camera, but I'm gonna reach in with my left hand, and while while it's loose, I'm gonna pull it off. So I've got the electrical connector off, and now I've got a 10 mil right, I've got a 10 mil right here. So I'm gonna reach down there with uh, an extension and a socket down here, and I'm gonna spin it off. I got the 10 mil out, 
and now I'm just gonna give it a little wiggle and this one actually came out really easy right now. So pull that out. Now, I tried to use my impact uh, sockets to get these spark plugs out, uh, to get this first one out yesterday, but it didn't really work very well. So I had to use a chrome 916 chrome 916 uh, with uh, this here wobble extension. So I broke the first spark plug loose with that there ratchet and now I'm spinning it free right now. If you got a power tool, uh, this is like the perfect time for a power tool. Now I'm gonna take my magnet, stick it down in there, blow. On the this spark plug right here, this hose is in the way of the coil coming out. So we're gonna come in again with some needle nose, back this little clamp off, and then I'm just gonna take my hand and I'm gonna twist, oh, two ends of the same hose. So take this hose off before you do spark plugs. So now, I'm putting my spark plugs back in. Make sure you gap everything to 0.9. And then as far as tightening stuff down, um, well, tight is tight enough, but basically you see there's, let me see, there's a little crush washer right there. Just wanna make sure that crush washer gets crushed. Now, I'm taking my, my coils and I'm putting them back. Now, we're gonna take our our little screws like that. I'm just gonna start each one. I'm gonna start each one by hand because I don't want anything to cross thread. And then I'm gonna take my electrical connections start plugging them back in so I'm tightening those little 10 mils by hand and then I'm gonna take my ratchet and I'm just gonna barely tighten them on there it doesn't have to be very tight at all and then I'm gonna take my little hose right here. I'll plop it on there. I'll plop it on there. And then I'm gonna come in with my needle nose pliers. Put it right back where I found it on both ends. Get all my stuff off of the customer's car. Pick up these spark plugs. A lot of times customers will want to see their old parts. So you can see right here, all I used for this whole job is right there. A screwdriver, a 9 uh chrome socket, a 10 mil socket, needle nose pliers, a six inch wobble extension and a flex head ratchet. Well, there you go, guys. It's not that hard of a job. Just take your time. Don't drop anything. And don't strip anything out, okay? You don't have to go all gorilla on these spark plugs and on the little tiny bolts, okay? If this video helped you, go ahead and hit that like button. 
could uh, go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or any video ideas, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Keep an eye on the hill, guys. Thank <laughs> you.